Is an elected leader in the mid-state drunk on the job as he voted to pass laws last night, or is he being targeted by political rivals? Tonight, a Coffee County commissioner is responding after being charged with public intoxication at last night's commission meeting. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has been looking into this for us, and as the commissioner says, he was not drunk at all. Coffee County Commissioner Stephen Jones spoke with us tonight following his arrest that he says was not justified. At Tuesday night's Coffee County Commission meeting, Commissioner Stephen Jones didn't know it yet, but he was about to be arrested for public intoxication. I think we have to support that and then from there. Manchester police said they met Jones outside at his van after the meeting and told him they got a tip he might be drunk. He said, I believe that you're intoxicated. And I said, well, no, I'm not intoxicated. You know, I would like to have a test or whatever. And he said, well, he said, let's not make an issue out of this. And he said, you come with me to the jail. The police report says Jones told the officer he had a mixed drink, vodka in a slushy from Sonic earlier in the day. But Jones says that was just two ounces of vodka. At the meeting, Jones was drinking from a styrofoam cup, but Jones says there was no alcohol in it. Yes, it was a, it was a separate cup. What's more, Jones says he never received a sobriety test or a breathalyzer. He says he didn't even know he was under arrest. I was never handcuffed, never read my rights, so I, I didn't figure if, if my rights weren't read, I wasn't under arrest. For the record, Jones says he's done nothing wrong. Were you intoxicated at last night's meeting? No. I was not. He says he thinks the charges were politically motivated. He says he's been targeted ever since losing a race for city mayor. I'm not surprised. I mean, that's just that's politics. Still insisting he's innocent. Jones says he paid his $363 fine last night. He says he wants to move on. Yeah, I just want to be over with Jason Lamb News Channel 5. The police report found in this case that several people smelled alcohol in Commissioner Jones, a claim he denies. But the state law for public intoxication goes beyond just smelling alcohol on someone. For someone to break the law, it says someone must be under the influence to the degree that the offender may be endangered, there's endangerment to another person or property, or the offender unreasonably annoys people in the vicinity.